Amen. You are welcome to another telecast of Hope Today, reaching you in your pleasant home from Mercy Land of Hope Worship Center, always also known as Mercy Land International Christian Center. We are going to be continuing with our team relationship and marital issues. Today we are going to how to be the man a godly woman desires or wants part two. How to be the man a godly woman desires or wants part two. Before we continue, shall we bow our heads and pray? My God and my Father, we thank you. Bless your name. We give you praise. Hallowed be your holy name, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the privilege and the honor to be able to learn at your feet again today. Lord, we pray, O God, that you will teach us yourself today in the name of Jesus. Let the entrance of your word give life. Let it give understanding to every single one of us listening and here present in the name of Jesus. Teach us yourself, O God. Let the seed of your word be watered by your spirit and let it bring forth its fruit in our lives, in its hundreds of thousands and its millions, that our life will showcase your glory. Our life will reflect you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, this, this day in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. In our last telecast, we talked about how to be the man a godly woman desires or wants, part one. And we talked about, uh, let me just quickly recap on what we talked about in our last telecast. We talked about, number one, a man must dress well, maintain a presentable appearance. A man must avoid extreme possessiveness. He must trust is very important and he must refrain from monitoring the lady. Number three, we talked about give your complete devotion to God. Don't invest all your emotions in a lady that you are not married to. Number four, build a strong friendship foundation upon christ in your relationship prioritize that number five appreciate the efforts a lady makes to please you number six pay attention to hygiene be clean be neat smell well number seven don't choose a partner solely based on image or social status number eight we looked at looking beyond physical appearance because true beauty lies in a strong character number nine we must continue to work on ourselves. Men, continue to work on yourself, develop yourself, educate yourself. Don't stop growing. And lastly, in our last telecast, we talked about avoiding rebuking a lady in public. Don't uh, uh, rebuke her in public. Whenever you want to rebuke her, do it in private and do it, correct her in love. Today, we are going to be, go to part two and we are going to start from um, looking at how to be the man a godly woman desires or wants, part two. Let's open our Bibles to the book of Proverbs chapter 8. Proverbs chapter 8, I start from verse 1. It says, Does not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice? She standeth in the top of high places by the way in the places of the path. She cried at the gate, at the entry of the city. At the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Wisdom is the principal thing. You need to grab wisdom, you need to follow instructions. And I tell you, when you follow God's instruction in the issues of a relationship and marital issues, you will not miss it because God himself will guide you and he will not allow you to make a shipwreck of your life when you follow his instructions. We talked about this in the last uh, uh, telecast that for your relationship to work, you must follow God's instructions. You must follow. God will never fail to do his part. He will always do his own part. But when you fail to do your own part, then problem arises. Let's start from um, number 11. Take time to observe a lady's character before committing yourself. Don't rush into marriage or serious commitments without ensuring that you are both compatible. If there are aspects you cannot handle, it is better to part ways early. A broken relationship, a broken engagement is way and far better than a broken marriage, than divorce. When you notice that there are some characters or behavioral pattern in a lady that you see that there's you cannot you know abide with, it's better for you to call it quits. Take your time to study each other. That's what courtship is all about. 
during courtship you are supposed to get to know each other to study each other's behavior to study each other's character to see that this is somebody that i can live uh, with uh, for the rest of my life and there are some people that say ah, during courtship i never saw this he or she you no know, she was pretending to be who she's not i always tell people behavior characters is like smoke you cannot hide it for too long one way or the other, it will bust out one day. No matter how much they try to hide, to pretend, one way or the other, you will see that little other side. You will see a little bit of what is hidden deep within. And when you see that you cannot abide with it, it's better to call it quits. Make sure that before you commit yourself to marriage to a lady, be sure that both of you are compatible. Another thing that you need to, to do is to ensure health wise health wise you must go and do series of tests hiv tests uh, genotype tests and all these other tests to be sure that both of you are compatible do not go and marry somebody who's got this uh, a genotype of as and you've got as i know that god almighty do change that but to be on the safe side make sure you check it and be sure that you are compatible don't go ahead into marriage and let there be, and then there is problem amen number 12 don't choose a life partner solely based on their cooking or sexual abilities true dignity comes from moral integrity and compatibility i said in our last telecast that as a child of god when you are going into a relationship that you are into courtship preparing for marriage sexual relationship is a complete no no sex is what god has created only for married couples if you go into sexual relationship with a lady before you become married and then you say ah no she's very good in bed and you go ahead and marry that lady from the very found from the very beginning your marriage uh, was built on a faulty foundation and if you build a skyscraper on the foundation of a bungalow it will collapse it will collapse so avoid Choosing a partner, a wife, based on cooking or sexual abilities. Some people will say, oh, this lady can cook fire. She can cook very well. She can this. And because of that, you decide to go and marry a cook. Don't base your relationship or future marriage based on the sexual or cooking abilities of a woman. Let it be that... It is based on true dignity, integrity, and you are compatible. Number 13, set goals for your own life. Be prepared and have ambition so that you are going to achieve success in life. Do not marry because mm, I just want to go into this relationship and because ah, she's, she's self-made. You want to go into that kind of relationship. You are not prepared. You know, marriage is not for boys. Marriage is for matured, responsible, and honorable men. It's not for boys. It's not for mommy's boys. So a man must be prepared mentally, physically, materially, financially, most importantly, spiritually, before you go into any relationship, into any courtship that will end in marriage. A man that is not, that has no goals, that has not ambition, you know, is an NFA, no future ambition. And you go into a relationship with a lady and she sees all that, she will withdraw. She will withdraw. Even if you like, be tongue talking, be firebrand. You must have ambition. You must be prepared. Initially, it may look as if you have nothing, but make sure you are you have goals. You have goals. At the point in time when you are in the relationship, at least have the barest minimum that can support you and support a family and grow from there and grow from there. The Bible says you should not be, you should not despise the days of little beginning. Don't wait for the man that don't say you are waiting for uh, a lady that is uh, already, you know, made. And the ladies are saying, I'm looking for a millionaire, a handsome, a whatever to marry. No, but make sure that you are prepared. He who plans, who fails to plan has already plans to fail. So make sure you are prepared for the, the, the marriage ahead of for that relationship. Hallelujah. 
Number 14, love cannot be bought with money or material possessions. Don't try to quantify love with external factors. Don't try to buy a lady. Don't try to say to buy love. You like this lady, so you're always buying, buying, buying because of that. No, she must fall in love with you because you bought. Mm, 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 mm. The moment you start doing that, you're already on the wrong path. And that relationship is going to be doomed to fail. It's already doomed to fail. So don't try to buy uh, love with material, with money or with material possessions. Let it be based on integrity. Let it be based on godliness. Let it be based on good characters. Number 15, never engage in any form of abuse. Respect and cherish your lady at all times. Don't abuse a lady. If a man is abusing you, in fact, real men don't abuse women. Real men don't abuse women. Any man that is abusing a woman, if you are still in a relationship with him and is already slapping you, shouting at you, abusing you physically, mentally, and emotionally, you should know that there is no going back, that you are, there is no saying you will change him. There is no saying you will change. Even if he says apologize and say no, it won't happen again. It will happen again and again and again and again. So at that point, a man must not abuse a woman. When abuse is in the relationship, the lady should please leave. Should please leave. Don't say you are going to change him. No, 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 no. And any man that is abusing a lady is a bully. And so don't settle for a bully. Any man that wants a godly woman must make sure he is not somebody that is abusive. You may not beat her physically, but emotionally you run her down. There are some women that their self-respect and their self-dignity have been shredded that they feel less than a human being. Any man that engages in any form of abuse to a woman is not a man. Both uh, partners must respect and cherish each other at all times. Number 16, don't seek a perfect girl as perfection does not exist. Everyone carries their own baggage and flaws. So look beyond superficial expectation. Some people will tell you, I'm a perfectionist. They want their lady to be perfect. They want their, their dressing to be perfect. They want everything to be perfect. There is nothing like that. The only person in this life that is perfect is the Almighty God. It was only Jesus Christ that was perfect when he was on earth. I know in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 48, it says, Be ye perfect, even as your heavenly Father is perfect. We are all still striving towards perfection. And with the help of the Almighty God, with the help of the Holy Spirit, we are walking towards perfection. But to say you are looking for a perfect woman that has no flaws, you are not going to get. So, don't seek for a perfect girl. Whatever it is that is both of you shortcomings, talk about it and work on it and so, so that you will improve. You'll be a better man and she'll be a better woman. Number 17, a real man is characterized by humility, wise investment, a strong character, personal convictions, a love for God, a pursuit of excellence and respect for parents. Stand firm and don't allow yourself to be pushed around. Not allowing yourself to be pushed around does not mean you are arrogant, does not mean you are, you are not humble. When you have godly values that somebody wants to bend, Stand your ground and refuse to shift. If as a man, you are in a relationship with a lady and she's making sexual advances to you, stand your ground. It's not going to happen. We, we, we have to uh, you know, know ourselves and get married before the issue of sex comes around. Any lady that is always tempting a man, be careful with that kind of a person. Stand your ground. And any man that is always making sexual advances at a woman that you are not married to, is a problem. Stand your ground. Then know that this person, if he says uh, well, he's a brother in the church or is a sister in the church and they are making sexual advances, know that there's something wrong with their life. They are not standing on, go uh, uh, on the world of God. Stand your ground and don't be pushed around. Stand firm on the principles of God that you believe in. Before meeting a lady's parents, establish a strong foundation of prayer in your life. Before you go and 
uh, the lady takes you to go and introduce you to her parents and vice versa make sure that you have established a strong foundation of prayer in your life make sure that you pray you both have prayed you have prayed and sought the face of god and you know that you are heading towards marriage and everything is in line according to the will of god i remember when we were in courtship we always pray together. Every week we fast because during uh, uh, our marriage counseling, we meet twice a week in the church for general counseling and then for personal counseling. And then also we set out a time where we pray and fast. We fast and pray together. We go to a, a public place, maybe in the church or somewhere where we can be seen to pray. And then that time we used to go for uh, Holy Ghost night where we go for pre-Holy Ghost where we pray. We want to God to be the very foundation of our relationship. So before you introduce, uh, before she introduces you to her parents, to her parents or vice versa, make sure that both of you have a strong um, prayer foundation. Hallelujah. You must learn to pray. Both of you must learn to pray, seek the face of God and ask God for direction. Hallelujah. Number 19, beware of spiritual pride. Where a lady claims to be more spiritually mature than you, such attitudes hinder open communication and mutual understanding. When a woman is already claiming that she's spiritually more mature than you, she's spiritually higher than you, I know a lot of ladies who are still single today because they feel superior to a man. They feel the man spiritually is not on the same wavelength as them. That is spiritual pride. You must learn to humble yourself. Even... If the man is not vast in scriptures or whatever like you, you must not throw it in his face. Both of you must grow. As long as he's a child of God, there is room for him to grow and improve and grow spiritually with you. So beware of spiritual pride. Number 20, only consider leaving a relationship when all attempts to correct issues have failed. Put in efforts to address problems, but if no positive change occurs over a year, it may be time to let go. There are some relationships, maybe when you are in courtship, you notice certain behavioral pattern in the lady, and you have tried, you know, as much as you can to prayerfully correct it, and it's not changing. I'm not talking about the kind of problem like promiscuity and those kind of things, no. If there are some behavioral patterns that you notice that are not okay in the lady and you have tried severally to correct, to prayerfully correct it, to correct, and it's not going anywhere, then it's time to call it quits. Don't say oh, she will change and then you go ahead and marry her. Before you know it, the marriage will not last. Lastly, get to know her family. It's very important to get to know the family of the lady. Before you commit to marriage, understanding her family dynamics provides valuable insights into who she is as a person. If she deliberately hides her family or avoids introducing you, it may indicate that there are underlying problems, challenges um, uh, that are happening in that family. Seek wisdom and understanding all aspects of life. When you want to go, when you are in a relationship or you are in courtship with a lady, and whenever the issue of family comes up, she cleverly avoids it. She, you have never met any member of her family. She has never introduced you to any member of her family. Even before you officially go and meet the parents of the lady, you must at least have met her brother, her sister, somebody from her family, so that you'll be able to know what kind of a person. Or what kind of a foundation she's coming from. So that you don't go and dive into hot water. It will boil. And if at every nook and cranny. Or some people say let's elope. And you rush and go and marry. The way you rush in you are going to rush out. Because for all you care you might be married into a family of murderers or serial killers. So be sure to know what her family dynamics are. Before you commit yourself to her. My brother. We have spoken about those 21 things now that a man on how to be the man that a godly woman desires or wants. Every godly child of God, every godly woman wants to see these beautiful qualities in a man. And if those things are not in place, you might end up being single. Are you listening to me today as a man, as a woman? 
and you have not at any time given your life to the lord jesus christ there is no way you make a good relationship or you get into a, a good godly marital uh relationship so today i want you to surrender your life to the almighty god so that the foundation for your courtship and relationship will be solid i want you to say after me say lord jesus i come to you today just the way i am have mercy upon me cleanse me with your precious blood wash me thoroughly from my sins and cleanse me from my iniquities lord write my name in the book of life thank you jesus for saving me in jesus mighty name amen let me pray for you my god and my father i pray for my brothers and sisters that have surrendered their lives to you and for backsliders that have returned home father lord i pray that you will accept them wash them with your blood write their names in the book of life holy spirit hold their hands and walk them through this journey of life as they have put their hands on the plow may they not look back may they walk this straight and narrow way until they see your face at the end of their lives in the name of jesus thank you lord because it is done in jesus mighty name amen congratulations you are welcome to the household of faith i can assure you there is joy in heaven because you gave your life to the lord jesus christ today if you want to know more about this christian journey and this christian experience i want you to uh, our uh, details are being displayed on the screen the phone numbers the emails get in touch with us our counselors are ever ready willing to pray with you to walk you through this journey so that you will not make any mistakes and as you do so i want you to know that god almighty will see you through and you will not miss it in the name of jesus it's time to give our offerings it's not good to come before the lord empty-handed and i want you to know that as you sow your seed the lord will bless it in the name of jesus our banking details and giving informations are being displayed there are banks that, that are there that uh, in Nigeria, in West Africa, and the South Sadek region. If you are not living in any of those regions and you still want to give, I want you to go to our website and go to the portal that says donate and follow the prompt. And I also our QR uh, code, our QR code is there. Use your QR scanner on your phone to scan it and follow the prompt. And as you do so, the Lord God Almighty will walk tie your seed and it will bring forth its fruit in its abundance, and you will never lack in the name of jesus we have various books that are on social media on amazon on google play store on different pl platform on social media i want you to get those books you can order the hard copies if you don't want the ebooks you can order the hard copies and it will be delivered to you i want you to buy those books read them a reader is a leader when you are well informed the devil cannot deform you in any way and when your spirit is loaded with the word of god with the wisdom of god's words the devil cannot mess with you because you have the power of it is written to counter his attacks with and as you do so the lord bless you in the name of jesus and we have come to the end of today's telecast and i want you to know and take this with you that no matter what the matter is your life and you will matter when it matters most in the name of jesus till we see you in our next telecast i say to you ciao ciao